Hi everyone, um, it's me again. Um, I was gonna wait and do a video after my weigh-in on Thursday, but um, I decided that I'm, I'll am i still do one on Thursday, but I'm gonna do the exercise one now. Um, so, I left off talking about nutrition and um, how I got that under control before I started my exercising routine um, in this whole process. So, um, I think I was uh, probably 270 pounds, so I had about 20 pounds gone before I decided to um, do any kind of routine. I would go for walks and stuff, uh, but it wasn't much of a everyday thing. It was more of a go for a walk with my family type thing. Um, so I heard about um, Walk Away the Pounds and at first I YouTubed it um, and found a couple videos on YouTube and uh, the whole concept is you do it in your home um, and it's a walking program it's uh, you walk in place there's there are a couple different um, moves that you do in the in the video but it, it's not a very high intensity uh, workout it do get your heart rate up and you will sweat but it's not a, a very high intensity um, so it was actually very good for me at my weight um, because I would find walking even 10 minutes at a time to be um, hard and very difficult uh, until I got used to it so I went to Walmart and I bought that DVD. Uh, there are five workouts on this particular one um, and they all are about 20 to 35 minutes, they roughly, and there's a Pilates uh, workout on this one as well. Um, it was like $13 at Walmart maybe cheaper now I bought it a couple years ago and there are a lot she do have a lot of videos out um, not just this one you can get up to five miles um, this one only got two so I would do that every day um, five days a week usually um, and then anything bonus like if I went for a walk with my family that was just bonus activity um, so yeah, so then I went, uh, and I did that, I think I w did that until I had about 75 pounds gone. And my husband bought me a treadmill for Christmas, uh, not Christmas past, but the Christmas before. So I would start walking on that as well, just to change it up a little bit, because it can get a little bit boring after a while. Uh, so I used to use my treadmill and I would do what I could on that. I would start off like, I guess I was going maybe 20-25 minutes on my treadmill. I would do uphill um, at about 3 miles per hour on my treadmill. Uh, until I built up uh, an endurance, which actually doesn't take very long to do, to build up uh, endurance for um, treadmill. Um, and then I started interval running. Um, I would run, I would walk for three minutes, and then I would run for 30 seconds. Um, I would walk again, and then I would run, and I would switch it up like that. And as I got used to the running, I would make my running time longer. Um, so that's how I got into running. I, I didn't follow. I know there are um, like couch 5K plans um, and there are different running uh, programs that you can follow, but I didn't. I just kind of did it on my own. Um, 
And then I went and I bought this. And that was crazy hard. Uh, it's a 25 minute program. There are three levels uh, to the 30 day shred. Um, and it's circuit, so you would do like three six minute circuits. Uh, three minutes of strength, two minutes of cardio, and one minute abs. This was hard. Uh, the next day after the first day I did it, I could barely walk. Uh, this is something I wouldn't start until um, you're, um, I don't know, I was probably 200 pounds when I started this. Uh, you need to be, it's pretty high at times, high intensity, so you need to have your endurance built up a little bit. Um, but it's a good, it's a good circuit workout for sure. Um, and this is another one of my videos that I do. And this one's called the Jillian Michaels for Beginners Front Side. And this is a 45 minute uh, workout and it's all circuits uh, strengthening um, using your own body weight which I really enjoy uh, all you need for this workout is uh, a chair and some dumbbells um, which is good and for the shred all you need are dumbbells as well and a mat if you're working on a hard floor and for Christmas this year I got this one And I love this one. Um, there's a lot of kickboxing, and uh, this is 45 minutes as well, and it's pretty high intensity. And uh, you would need to have some endurance and some muscle strength for this one as well. Um, it's hard, and you'll be sore the next day. But I really, I really enjoy it, and uh, yeah, it really gets your heart rate up. And yeah, so I do. Um, some weeks I do those videos more than others. I haven't done them now in a while. I think I'm going to do them again this week on Thursday and Friday. Um, I've been running more lately. I really enjoy running and uh, it makes me feel good. And um, I run on my treadmill, not outside. I don't have the courage outside yet uh, to run. But... Um, so that's mostly what I've been doing is running um, and yeah that's really it for exercise you have to really um, make time for it and schedule it in and be sure that whatever it is you're doing that you enjoy it I mean you don't have to do videos maybe you're a gym person I'm not a gym person I've never set foot in a gym um, during this whole process but that's me um, it, some people may love it I'm just not one of those uh, so but my advice would be to find something that you like uh, don't go too hard too fast you don't want to get your body to a point where you have to work out six hours a day in order to continue to lose. I work out, um, I run probably four days of the week, some days, sometimes five. Um, if I do do my video for two days, I will run for three days. So I, I exercise for five days, take two days off. Um, some weeks I'm not as good, like I'm human. Uh, some weeks I only exercise three days a week. Uh, you know, it just depends on what's happening and my mood and like, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I guess I'll do my next vlog on Thursday after weigh-in. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, bye.